civil war is causing Russia to explode update on the war of Russia and Ukraine on May 5th. Vladimir Putin is facing opposition from frustrated generals who are estranging from him because of the lack of military progress in Ukraine, Russian sources claim. As Russia finds it increasingly difficult to gain territory in Ukraine, it is widely reported that Moscow's slow advances and especially losses could lead to the downfall of President Putin, with analysts suggesting that he may soon face a coup d'etat. Russian security expert Andrei Soldatov said, Is it important? It's very important. This is the first time that Siloviki, Federal Security Service, FSB, officers, have put some distance between themselves and the president. Mr. Soldatov argued that this opens up all possibilities. He told the Center for European Policy Analysis, SEPA, the Russian president has been preparing for a coup for a number of weeks because he has faced intense criticism for his special operation. Spies in Ukraine and he purged about 150 of his spies because of repeated failures. Dr. Muraviv told Sky News Australia, I think there have been tensions between Russia and the intelligence community and Russian President Vladimir Putin. I think that kind of false narrative was presented to them by the Supreme Commander-in-Chief, and when it returned fire as the Russians started taking heavy casualties, Putin began quietly blaming the security services. On Monday, the British Ministry of Defense, MOD, said more than a quarter of Russia's 120 battalion units are now underperforming, a number that represents about 65% of all combat power in the world. Ministry of the Kremlin The MOD stated, some of Russia's most elite units, including the VDV airborne forces, have been consumed at the highest levels. It will probably take many years for Russia to restructure these forces. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said that Moscow's forces lost 23,800 soldiers, 1,048 tanks, 2,519 armored personnel carriers, 459 artillery systems, 194 aircraft and 84 cruise missiles. Adding to the loss of equipment and troops were Putin's generals and other senior officers, among them a large number of dead. James Stavridis, a former NATO Supreme Allied commander in Europe, said on Sunday the Kremlin's astonishing incompetence had resulted in a number of casualties not seen in any recent conflict. This. He emphasized, when the U.S. entered the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, not a single general was killed in actual combat. Stavridis added that the problems of the Moscow army were reflected in, not only many generals were killed, but also in important losses such as the flagship Moskva in the Black Sea. It's been a bad performance by the Russians so far, he said. Putin's mistakes are pushing him to the brink when facing a coup d'etat, his generals are trying to overthrow the useless Putin regime.